Well, here we go. John Deere 90, what is it, 9620R with our field cultivator. Gonna test this thing out this morning here. Uh, we worked this field last night, it's 40 acres, and it was pretty heavy with weeds, so we're just gonna work it again just to make sure we got everything cleaned out of here. So I'm gonna hop up in this beast. God, these tires are massive. I'm gonna hop up in this beast and see if I can figure out how to run it. Never ran one of these before. It's huge. I can't get over how big and massive it is. Visibility sure is a lot different. Well, I'm gonna play with this thing here a little bit and uh, see if I get it all figured out. Well, we're rolling right along. You can tell, see all the weeds. It's just gonna be nicer to have this work twice, just to make sure we got a nice, clean, good seed bed to lay some corn in here. So, I don't know, this thing's... What I really like is this cab. I love this cab. I like the controls here. I like the uh, the monitor, the noises the monitor makes. This cab's pretty nice. The guidance and everything on this just engages so much uh, smoother. I mean, when I come to the end, you know, I make a little turn the button I mean it doesn't that quad track maybe I just have it adjusted wrong on the sensitivity settings but man it just it'll snap to the line and then if you click it just a hair too early the monitor will pop up and uh, it won't engage because of uh, movement detected on the steering wheel so I don't know I feel like I can you know I let go of the steering wheel click the button and it just goes right to the line real nice and easy and works pretty good Man, you want to talk about taking up a road, this thing will do it. I mean, I'm probably almost touching both white lines here. Yeah, this thing's big. But when you're meeting cars going down the road, they don't just get off a little bit. They get in the ditch. Well, I'm uh, taking Dad some corn here. Probably can't see it on the camera, but uh, you can row them beans. Coming up good. So, Dad's only got uh, a couple fields left to plant corn, and uh, he'll be all finished up. So, kind of dwindling down here on the last bit of corn, kind of dumping some bags, moving stuff around. So, I'm taking the seed tender over to him right now. I'm gonna fill him up, and uh, he should be all finished up today. Look at that corn. Looks good. Beans are up too, right beside it. So I'll do a little review on the 9620 and uh, our 580. So right off the bat, our 580 is going to be a lot smoother through the field because it's on tracks. I've never ran a deer quad track, so I wouldn't be able to care, compare them. Um, but I don't know, the in cab of that deer, I feel like wins over the case. Oh, that monitor's nice, the guidance and everything in that deer. But other than that, I don't know, I like our quad tracks. They're smooth, they run good, they got a lot of power. It's just the end cab that really impresses me. So, that's my deal on it. I don't know, I've never ran a deer quad track, but I think it'd be interesting too. Hello. Hey. You gonna swing the auger out? Yeah. This sure worked up nice after going over it twice. Hey, what do you think of that green machine? I didn't get a lot of bugs. Time for a trade?
to get this other hopper empty. That hopper stuck a third full. So when it gets empty, then I can empty this rest of this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be planting much beans today because I caught up to everything that was worked last night. And he's working all these fields, these last two more fields ahead of dad so he can finish corn. So I'm probably going to hop in the sprayer. Well, first of all, I'm going to fix that bulk tank. I got a buckle for it to put on there. And uh, hop in the sprayer, catch up on all the corn. So that's done and out of the way. I'll spray uh, the last two fields ahead of him planting. So it's so he just goes into it, plants, and it's already sprayed. So all the corn spraying will be done. So I need to take this hose and put some water in the reserve tanks or the clean out tanks on the sprayer because uh, when I get done spraying however many acres that is of corn I'll flush the sprayer out so I'm good to spray some beans you just gotta fill this tank up I think I need to fill the other tank too I don't know if it merges in one but Fill these tanks up and uh, then you've got water so you can clean out the field when you're done spraying. Well they gave me four of them so I just replaced all of them. So this whole side's the same. I kind of like these better. These are updated version of these. These ones are loose. Some of these are loose. Maybe not on this tank. That one's loose. But uh, a few of these were really loose over here so I just swapped all these out with the updated ones. that holds onto that and uh, it's broken off right here so got to take this pin out probably got to take this pin out I've got a new spring in the toolbox and uh, toss a new one on nothing to it well I'm uh, out here and in no hurry because I'm already kind of on Grove's tail might as well look at all these other units and Make sure we're all good.
hopper fill here, so see tenders about here. I'm gonna hop out, fill this thing up, keep rolling. I think I'm gonna work late here and get this field done. Got me a big rock here. I wanna take it off and throw it on the uh, flatbed, but I really don't even wanna pick it up. That was hard to even get on there. It's a big rock.